Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. You may have heard there's been another rate hike on the water in Los Angeles and this rate hike and all the others have made it so uh, precious to have water that it's really no longer possible to use it for landscaping except for under desert conditions. So that means the lawns are going to have to be changed either to that fake grass or desert plants or something like that. So I thought I'd film this video just to say goodbye to my garden, which does not look the same this year, not as good this year as last year, and uh, which will look very different in the future. So let's take a final look and say goodbye to Alice's garden. Okay, these were the roses, and there have been mighty few of them this year. And I took some inside just now, so Really, there are very few roses to show. There's one. And another little one. Nothing wor much. And inside, we had a riot of color priorly. But here we have just a, a rose or two. And I see some nasturtiums coming up in the background there. But the, um, the vines have died. They look almost like they've been poisoned. I don't know if the water's gone bad or what. And uh, the roses are not really bearing much. Then we have a mock orange tree behind that still looks okay. You know, I think the future for Los Angeles lies in the trees. And that's what I... I'm looking at here is trees that that help to take the um, the cost of heating and cooling down because of their fine effects on our HVAC efficiency. And here in the front yard, still there's some lantana, but it may die now that I've turned off the water all but a little bit of the time. In the palm tree, I don't know if it'll make it or not now that the water is off. These kind of plants that were so great in years past in California when water was cheap most likely can't be here anymore, I think. Mean. By next year, I'm betting that they won't have made it through. And the same for these plants. They don't look like the water-efficient kind to me. The bougainvillea next to the um, fence to the backyard looks real pretty this year. And I wonder if it will be there next year. And then there's the jacaranda tree that's its friend. And there are two more jacaranda trees in front. And I'm hoping that they will survive with maybe with water carried out from my bathtub. I am betting that all of these plants out by the street need to be replaced with um, desert conditions plants are low water, very low water. Well, so here we have more of the type of plants that I feel can't make it on the new water standards. They're beautiful though, but they're more for an area with a good deal more water rainfall. And just looking at all these plants here that I've grown so used to over the years, I don't think they're going to make it at all in the coming year now that the water's not on. Not even the ones that are native to California. They're looking real pretty right now though. And the rosemary? Rosemary is supposed to make it. It's good for bees too. All of these plants, all the citrus, all the palms, small and large. They're not the type of palms that are good with low water. And all this greenery here is drip or citrus uh, and apple trees, fruit trees, drip. I feel none of that's going to make it um, with desert water conditions turned on. Uh, none of the citrus, none of the drip, unless it's extremely low water drip. I, I tried switching to drip a year or two ago hoping that that would solve the problem but it hasn't. So in LA right now, now that they've increased the water prices again, the cost of the water is the same as it is 
in summertime, which is quite high, and, and it's winter conditions here now. On the property behind me is a pomegranate tree, which grows wild, and I think that's going to make it along with this pomegranate tree that I planted because those grow in the deserts quite well. Check it out, here's my apple tree blooming. Isn't that cool? And here is one of my orange trees bearing plenty of fruit. Also very cool and delicious too. And here's a small cross between a tangerine and an orange tree. Also delightfully delicious right now. Oh, and here is the lemon tree, as usual, bearing a bounteous crop. Very nice, huh? I planted these little accent pieces a year or so ago, hoping that they would provide uh, low water accent, but as it turns out, they use quite a bit of water. I'll show you a couple more. Here is another one. There's another one. There's a little one. And another one. And another one. And then I have some hanging baskets right now. I don't know how they're going to survive. We'll see. We'll see what happens with water prices. I have three like this. Then there is this accent spot here. And it's nice that there are bulbs coming up. With low water, I don't know if bulbs will come up in the um, rainy season or not. I'm hoping that they might because I have quite a few planted, for instance. Here is this fragrant surprise that came up right over here. And there is another one I see next to a climbing vine that probably won't make it, I'm guessing. These plants that I planted by the posts of the porch, well, they smell delicious, but I think that they are only good if you put lots of water on them. So they're going to probably be replaced by bare fence posts pretty soon. And here we have a close-up of Alice's garden in the left-hand alley. Uh, if you can see, there's some of the plants from prior years, but they're not blooming too much. And the uh, rose bush looks a little sickly. The um, strawberries that I nursed along all year, they're not bearing fruit. I see one beautiful bloom there. And the nasturtiums. And a few tomatoes green right now. And, and that's about it. So I know it's been fun to see pictures of Alice's garden in years past and videos. And I guess this is going to be the last one until I segue into Alice's desert garden, which may take a year or two. That's it for now. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. And may you have plenty of water for drinking and cooking and bathing, and for your trees. Trees are the most important plants on earth, I feel, right now. Take care.